Brussels is threatening to suspend its data sharing with Washington, fresh on the heels of revelations about the NSA's mass eavesdropping on Europe. The EU is demanding complete transparency and maximum information from the US. That's despite recent reports revealing its own snooping activities. France is believed to be running a version of the NSA's infamous PRISM program. Artie's Maria Fenoshina investigates. This building behind me in the eastern part of Paris, or rather a three-story bunker underneath it, is the epicenter of a fresh spy scandal. The headquarters of the country's security services, and it's from here that it's now claimed France's big brother snoops on its own people, monitoring millions of phone calls, text messages, faxes and emails. Local media is reporting that France's intelligence agency is also breaking the law. The French public is actually now very much confused. They've been receiving conflicting messages from their leadership lately. First, fury after revelations over America's espionage. Hollande condemned America, saying spying is not what partners do. Now, it's been revealed France is itself doing exactly what it just very vocally denounced. French officials are downplaying the allegations over the country's surveillance program, claiming the reports are inexact. However, the Prime Minister's office did admit several services do conduct monitoring operations for security reasons. Political scientist Pierre Galland says the, ex the excuse is not convincing. The key issue is not terrorism any longer. If you want to be effective in the fight against terrorism, first, you should not provoke it by actions abroad like drones in the case of the United States. Second, you should have a kind of police operation. And uh, in the United States, you know, it did not stop the Boston Marathon attack, uh, but then every citizen is checked uh, in his or her personal life all the time. So uh, what technology makes possible becomes a reality because there's no... Uh, other way, uh, leaders use technology to the full, and they claim it's to protect countries against terrorism, but terrorism is mostly an excuse. Of course, the fight against terrorism is legitimate, but surveilling everyone in order to fight terrorism, it's not a necessity at all.